Using the axes below, sketch the graph of y equals sine x for values of x from minus 180 to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's focus on the positive um, angles to start with, okay, from 0 to 360. So let's scale that out. Now, the axis here um, is only 8-ish centimetres long, so I think if we're going to split that up into four sections for each 90 degrees, we're going to have to go 2 centimetres across, so 2 um, two, four, six, and eight. Okay, so that will be then ninety degrees, hundred and eighty degrees, two hundred and seventy degrees, and three hundred and sixty degrees. Okay, and then obviously we need to go back then to negative um one hundred and eighty. So we're going to have two there another two here so that will take me to minus 90 minus 180 okay so we know sine graph has values ranging between um one and minus one so a height can be one so maybe we can go three centimeters it's going to go as high as one and it goes as low as minus one so three centimeters up three centimeters down minus one and one so all you need to do then is plot the curve, plot some points for the curve. So you're best off um, determining where the sine graph goes through the axes here. So when the x is zero, sine zero is zero. So we just use a calculator, can't we? So for example, now um, you've got 90 degrees, so you can type in sine 90 on your calculator and it comes out to be one, okay? So if that's the good thing if this is in the calculator paper, we can just use our calculator. Similarly then, sine 180 is zero, okay. Sine 270, again, we can check if you want to here. Sine 270 is negative one, okay. Um, so three centimeters down, plot that point here. Sine 360 is zero. Now, of course, we need to deal with the negative values as well, okay. So when you type in sine minus 90, okay, so I can do that here. I literally putting in minus 90 degrees there. I get minus one, okay? So it can deal with negative degrees as well. So we have minus one. And similarly then, when I put in minus 180 degrees, I get zero. So we've got our points for sine graph here and remember it doesn't zigzag it's got to be a wave okay so you have to curve this best to turn the paper need to so I'm going to start the origin so curve it so it looks like a wave keep turning the paper to help you okay and then you just appreciate there's the sine wave there which you've seen before and it just goes into the negative angle here as well then so i'll turn it around this way okay and we've got that that's a sine graph between minus 180 and 360 degrees then it says in part b find all the solutions for the following equation in the range minus 180 to 360 so what we're going to do here is, right, we've got sine x here equals to negative 0 0.8. So if I look for negative 0 0.8, it's around here, isn't it, roughly? Because if you, if you think about the scale here, from 0 to minus 1, minus 0 0.8 is, is about there, yeah? So I could even draw a line through here then, okay, to look at all the solutions that we have for from our sine graph. So we can see there's actually four solutions, yeah? One there, one there, one here, one here. Okay, um, now the key is obviously working out what x is, what these angles are. And what we can't do is simply just draw a line up here to and just sort of have a guess, because that's what we'd be doing, isn't it? We'd be looking up there and saying, oh, that's about, I don't know, minus 70, okay? I don't, roughly like that, yeah? We can't do that. We need an accurate answer. And of course, because we've got a calculator, we can actually work out what x is here by doing sine to the minus 1 of 0 0.8. Okay, so if I work that out, my calculator there, so shift, um, so shift sign, um, minus 0 0.8, yeah, 
um, minus 0 0.8 and I get minus 53.13 degrees okay so we can go we can do two decimal places or one decimal place is fine so that's what it comes out to be so that's what this angle will be here I think what it's given us this angle isn't it okay minus 53.13 so that's roughly right so it's not necessarily perfect because it's really hard to get this spot on okay but um, that's where minus 53 would roughly be so the key is then is to work out what these other angles are okay and what you just need to appreciate is the slope that goes down here is the same as the slope that goes down here there's a symmetry there so when we go back 53.13 here that's the same as going across 53.13 here so one of the solutions will be 180 add 53.13 and similarly when it goes back that way okay so that slide here is exactly the same as this slide here so whereas here we're going back 53.13 we're also going back 53.13 here from 360 so that'll be another solution so it's a case of just working each of these out and then the other solution would be here Okay, which is the same as that slide there. So that slide is the same as this slide. It's just a reflection, isn't it? It's a reflection. So we're actually going, whereas this is going back 53, this is going this way 53.13. So the other solution will be minus 180 plus there now 53.13 across. So we've got three answers. We've got this first one here which would be 233.13, okay? Then we've got this one then, which would be 306.87, if I've done that right in my head. Just check. Yeah, and then the other answer then will be minus 126.87. If you've rounded to one decimal place, that's absolutely fine.